let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the reporting. I need to create a report for this, and I got you know I got a lot of data I want to show, right? But I want to kind of construct this and put me information the information in that I need. So I'm going to create a report. Right click on report and hit create. There's other ways you can get to it. It goes to the same place. It goes to this dialog, and you can uh, basically you know grab documents. Now notice this is all available documents that are currently open in Word. This is not uh, a, a report document, but I can attach to it if I want to and start throwing data into it. But basically what I want to do is create a new uh, document from template, and I'm going to use my MLC customized report. Uh, if you do the flow simulation report, you'll notice it's almost identical. It's just got some different formatting to it to kind of conform to our company branding and it's gonna generate the Excel file, just create a brand new Excel file based on that template. And let me go ahead and see if I can get this to sort of split screen. Now normally I would do this on multiple screens, but uh, for this purpose of this, I think it's gonna look really good here. Here's my, my, my uh, template, uh, the date, the title. It says model picture here. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put in the picture of the model. So I'll come over and I'll say pictures and charts, current image, current position, so where my cursor is right now, add to report, and there's my image. A little big, that's okay. Oh, I need to go and set that to fixed formatting. I may need to crop it a little bit to take out the heads up display. But you guys get the point. It's pretty straightforward to go ahead here in here and start adding images. So next we have the table of contents information that's automatically generated for us. Um, I've highlighted in red the areas where I need to put information for the report, and I've kind of created some notes for myself things that I'm supposed to be doing. For this, I want to summarize the goal, what questions it seeks to answer, any assumptions we made, you know, who, who I'm writing it for, right? If this is an executive summary versus a, an analyst report, uh, that might change how I develop it. And then you've got a whole bunch of information. These are all coming in from various preset IDs that are in the template. So you can kind of build your own or copy one you want uh, and bring it in. Uh, but all that information is all pretty standard uh, information, but it doesn't necessarily tell us everything. So for example, here's the volume heat source. This volume heat source does not clearly indicate that this is the thing that is the volume heat source, right? This transformer. So if you want to show that, you can go ahead and just say, throw in a picture of the transformer right there, and it gives you a lot more uh, visual representation and a lot more you know information available for the user to understand exactly what's going on and what to expect continuing on get additional information about our goals our setup our our warnings right and I want to put a note in here about what that means and why it's not important here's some of our our values our goal values right min max values and then under results this is me again adding recommended plots. And so I'll come in here and I'll say, I want to see the cut plot, right? And I want to do this with the wireframe overlay. So let's add the cut plot first, and then just keep going. It does kind of scroll up every time to the top of the document, uh, but you can build out your report from here fairly quickly and easily. All right, uh, don't forget to save this. This is just an open document. There's nothing saved on the hard drive. So save this at some point. That way you don't lose any of your information as you go along, but we've reached the end.